Hello dear teachers, welcome to the chemistry video lesson plan. I am Rakhi Ghosh, teaching science in Nyanganga English Medium School, Pune. In this video, today I will be sharing with you all my experience of conducting an activity based class on topic structure of atom. Well friends, when it comes to the teaching of structure of atom, we have to make sure that each and every student has understood the topic completely as this topic is fundamental to studying advanced concept in physics and chemistry. Earlier, I used to teach this topic with the help of YouTube videos, PowerPoint presentation or models. But I found that after being attentive for 5 to 10 minutes, students get easily distracted. So to have an active participation of the class, I decided to conduct activities to keep the students engaged while learning something new. This topic is targeted for the students of class 8 and 9. However, I found the students of higher class also liked the activities and had fun while clarifying some misconceptions. This topic took approximately two classes of 35 minutes each. Before starting with the lesson plan, I quickly revised few points with the students. Such as the atoms being the smallest particle of matter, concept of chemical compounds, electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion, and atomic models by Dalton and Sir J.J. Thompson. I started my class by asking a riddle to the students. I am present everywhere. In the sky, on the land, in the sea. I am the tiniest part of the world around us. Can you see inside me? And told the student to answer this after learning the entire topic. I arranged the class in groups of five and after this I distributed papers, pieces of chalk, graphite pencils, copper wires and biscuits to the group and ask them to break them into the smallest particle possible by them. I performed this activity for two reasons. Firstly, to show them that matter is made up of minute particles and secondly, to make the students interested in the class. Then I asked the students if they have been able to break the objects into their tiniest particles. Through this activity, I explained that atoms are the smallest part of matter around us. I also discussed the size of the atoms with respect to the size of the object. Then I questioned them if it is possible to explore inside the atom. We continued our lecture with another activity correlating with Rutherford's atomic model. The activity requires plastic scales, colored paper, golden is preferable, a cardboard and a few marbles. So I have with me these three setup. Setup A with mass concentrated in the middle. Setup B with mass distributed at the periphery. And the setup C with mass intermittently distributed. This activity has to be performed by the student. So I had divided the students into three groups. You can distribute these three setups to the three groups. Ask students to throw plastic balls or marble at the setup and record the trajectory of the balls carefully and systematically. Like this, you can even use laser pointers instead of balls. Allow the students to devise their own way of data recording. Ask the students where most of the ball hit in their setup. What is the ratio of the ball that hit on the mass and the ball that hit in the empty spaces? Through this, we can draw a correlation between the activity and the Rutherford's experiment. Ask the students which setup got the reading similar to the Rutherford's finding. I would suggest allowing the students to present their data to the class and come up with their possible atomic structure with proper reasoning and explanation. This activity is a good way for discussion of size of the atom with respect to the size of the electrons and nucleus. I explained the structure of atom, 
also discussed the electronic configuration of elements. This discussion was good for the next activity where students draw the structure of atom. For our next activity, we need plastic sheets, cardboard, colored pins, say red, green, blue, A4 size paper. Paste an A4 size paper on the cardboard to make the cardboard assembly. Now draw 5 concentric circles with increasing radius on it. This is to show the nucleus at the center and the four shells named K, L, M and N shell around the nucleus and cover the cardboard with a plastic sheet. Fix a particular color pin to denote protons, neutrons and electrons. Like this, you can tell students to do this activity for example, here we are having a model of carbon atom with 6 protons, 6 neutrons and 6 electrons. The blue color pin showing the protons, the green showing the neutrons and the white showing the electron. Similarly, you can ask your students to make the model of atoms of elements having the atomic number 1 to 10. You can have a classroom discussion on how to write the electronic configuration, the definition of elements, even you can have a discussion on how to write the electronic configuration of sodium chloride. After these activities, I post a few questions to the students to assess whether they have understood the concept. I ask the student to draw the electronic configuration of any atom of element of their choice. Also, I ask them to write the difference between the properties of electrons and protons. You can ask the students to make the atomic model of five elements as their homework. Also, you can ask them to write the electronic configuration of five metals and five non-metals and whether they see any similarities or trends in these electronic configuration. So, friends, these activities really help me a lot to make the concept clear to each and every students. I could help them in developing observation, data recording and interpretation skill with the help of these activities. The students could recollect the activities after a long gap and have grasped the concept very well. I would like you all to try these activities with your class and see the outcomes. I'm sure that you're going to get a positive result. Even I got the parents' feedback that students have liked the activities very much. The link of the lesson plan is present in the description box. Thank you all for watching the video.